What's happening, SBG Nation? It's your boy Corfi, and today I'm coming at you with a very important message today. And uh, it's been a while, so I want to talk about something important that I don't think a lot of people understand, and that's DDoS attacking. And guys, especially depending on who you're DDoSing, it can be severe, and I mean severe consequences. So let's just throw out some like of how DDoSing works because I know there's a few people like I said that don't know how DDoSing works so we're gonna take a time I got a little picture here that kinda explains it kinda simplifies it and we'll just go ahead and throw that in here alright guys so here's a basic diagram of a DDoS attack so as you can see you've got the hacker that sends a request out to command and control servers and then those servers send the request out to zombie computers and then the zombie computers send their request out to whoever they're attacking and what happens is that your internet is too busy trying to handle the request by the zombie computers that they actually neglect or ignore your computer so what they do and I know at Xbox Live is that they'll send the attack to your router and what that happens is your knocks your internet offline you're not gonna be able to get online and anything in your house whether it's your Xbox your computer or tablet anything and then, guys, that's how a DDoS attack actually works. A very simplified picture here, and I hope that it helps, guys. But let's just go ahead and get back into like some of the consequences that can happen. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and state the obvious. Yes, DDoS attacks are illegal. You know, you know, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. So they are illegal. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the consequences. So let's say you knock off, you know, some little kid on Xbox, you know, he doesn't really do anything. He's not very, like, he's not a uh, well-known figure in the community, so he's not making money off of it. If you knock him off once, you'll probably be okay, all right? But it's still illegal. But what I'm trying to get at here is that the cops probably aren't going to do something about that. But if you knock off, let's just, you know, somebody big, I don't want to get any particulars in here. Let's say you knock off a big streamer that's pulling in a lot of money by streaming and this is kind of how they make their life. Then, yeah, the cops are going to get involved. You will be found because there are ways to trace it. You will eventually get traced down. I mean, there's not a completely impossible way for you to stay hidden forever. And then another way is if you're constantly harassing somebody, no matter who they are, if you're harassing them, whether you're constantly knocking them offline or you're throwing verbal threats as well as knocking them offline then uh, cops will get involved then as well so let's go ahead and just talk about what can happen if some of this does go down so if any of this does go down you would cops will track you they will find you you will then be sued for whatever damage you have caused that person so let's say I have all my electronic stuff here and you DDoS my stuff and it causes some kind of problem on my computer or whatnot. My let's just say my computer's worth five thousand dollars. That's over the limit that I need to sue you. You will have to pay for my computer. And this is just out there random, you know, probably not gonna happen. Probably not possible either, but just for sake of argument and sake of examples, we're going with this. So you have to pay for my stuff. I could also sue you and let's say I'm a big streamer and let's say I pull a thousand people to my stream you know, constantly. I can keep a thousand people constant, which is completely possible for some of these League of Legends Twitch streamers. I've seen it, like 32,000 on them before. But anyways, let's go ahead and get down to some of the math. So, if I make five dollars an ad per thousand people that watch my videos, that is five dollars for one ad. Now, let's say I run five ads in one hour. That's twenty-five dollars an hour, okay? Now, let's say I stream for ten hours a day. That's $250 I have made that day. Now let's say I stream for only, we'll say only five days a week. I have made $1,250 that week just off of streaming. Now let's say I stream for 52 weeks out of the year, you know. That's over $63,000 a year that I have made streaming. So if you're knocking me off for an extended period of time where I am losing my income, then I can take you to court and sue you f for that income. And then I can sue you for all the sponsorship probably, you know, they're getting money from sponsorships too to be streaming and promoting all their equipment and whatnot. 
So, I mean, there's a lot of just variables that can go into how much you can pay, and then when you get taken to court, you're going to have to get a lawyer, you're going to have court dates, and if you're old enough to have a job, you're going to miss your work days because you got to go to court. So, like, honestly, this is not worth it with some of the punishments that can be taken out against you. But let's just go ahead and look, when you're looking for help, let's say you're getting attacked and you're looking for help. What can you do? So, like I said before, if you're constantly getting harassed, then most likely you can contact the police and they will help you. I know we recently had a streamer in SB. She was getting harassed every time she started to stream. The dude would come into it and knock her off just constantly. Wouldn't let her stream for more than like 10 minutes at a time and she would get knocked off. And then also he was throwing verbal threats out to her and her family. So, you know, this is something that was very, very serious matter that she can call the cops on. I'm sure they will eventually find him and he will be punished for what he's been doing. But guys, let's, lastly, let's talk about preventative steps that you can take. So, you can always have firewalls. Firewalls help. I personally use VPNs and um, college internet. Let me tell you, there's one good thing about college internet is that it's very, very hard to DDoS college internet just because of what they college how the internet at college works but it's besides the point so firewalls VPNs and then if you have to you can contact your internet service provider and get different IP addresses uh, there are certain routers you can buy that help you with DDoS attacks and prevent that against it but guys lastly let's just kind of let's stop DDoSing as a community let's take a stand against DDoS and say it's not worth the consequences it's not worth whatever I'm doing is not fun enough it's not worth getting in trouble for so guys this has been Corfi and I hope this helps some of y'all kinda recognize what DDoS attacks are how to prevent them and what can some of the consequences be if you know you're participating in DDoS attacks guys so as always leave a like comment and subscribe it's been real it's been fun, and it's even been real fun, guys. We'll see you in the lobbies.